I have a friend who does CrossFit. CrossFit, if you don't know, is basically a fitness program. It's a way of working out. Now there is a, a joke about people who do CrossFit, and it's this. That you'll know that somebody does CrossFit because they'll tell you. In other words, people who do CrossFit love to talk about it. And that's certainly true for my friend. He talks about CrossFit all the time. He talks about the workouts he's doing. He talks about the progress he's making. He talks about the competitions that he's in. And you know what? It makes sense that he would want to talk about CrossFit because it's been so life-giving to him. He has gotten healthier because of it. He's in better shape because of CrossFit. He's found a good community through it. And so, yes, he's going to want to share that with other people. He's even tried many times to get me to do CrossFit. <laughs> so far, he has not been successful, but he keeps trying. This month of April, we are in the midst of the season of Easter. We're celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. If that's true, it should affect the way we live. If something as simple as a workout can cause somebody to want to share that with other people, how much more should the resurrection of Jesus affect our lives and make us want to share that good news with other people? If we believe that Jesus is alive, if that's true, people should know that by looking at our lives. Now, we have a beautiful example of what this looks like by seeing how the apostles lived. The apostles, after the resurrection of Jesus, we hear about their stories in the Acts of the Apostles. Now, we have a uh, glimpse of that in our word of life for this month of April. We can see what the resurrection of Jesus meant to them. So here is what we read in the Acts of the Apostles for this month of April. With great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all. With great power, the apostles testified to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. In other words, they didn't keep it to themselves. This was so life-changing, so life-giving, that they had to share it with other people. And if that was true for the apostles, it's certainly true for us. Because we are the inheritors of that same gift of faith in Jesus Christ. So this month, first of all, I think we can just ask ourselves, do I really believe that Jesus is alive today? And if I believe that, does that change the way that I live? What difference does the resurrection make in my life? And then we can testify with great power to the resurrection of Jesus. Now, there's many ways that we can do that, but I just want to offer you three ways this month that you can testify that Jesus is alive, that you can share this good news. The first way is through prayer and through worship. When I pray to Jesus, when I worship Jesus, what I'm saying is that I actually believe that he's alive, that he's risen, that he's listening to me, that he loves me, and that he's active. Prayer is an incredible way to testify that Jesus is risen. The second way is by loving another person, by loving my neighbor. Because when I do that, what I'm saying is that Jesus alive in me can love Jesus who's alive in that person. I'm recognizing that Jesus is still with us. And my love, I have the power to love because he is risen. And finally, we can testify through joy. Joy comes through being with the one that we love. And if Jesus is alive, 
and we love him, that means that I can be with Jesus today. And the fruit of that is joy. So let's testify to the resurrection with great power this month of April through prayer, through loving our neighbor, and through the joy that comes from being with Jesus. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to keep up with other great content to help you live your life of unity with God and, and with one another, make sure you subscribe to Focalari Media so that you can continue to live your divine adventure.